Hello, what's up everyone? This is more like a review of this Super Eye MP3 player. I bought this uh, for my son during his birthday last August. And let's try and discuss what are the good stuff with this one. It's like pros and cons. So when you open it, it's like that. Um, I always get confused uh, with the screen there, thinking it's a touch screen, but it's not a touch screen. See, it's not. This is like a touch response. There's no button there. So yeah, it should look like that. Then this is your navigation, where you want to go. And then the center bit is where um, you select so that's your settings. There's loads that you can do. Uh, it can get very loud. So on the settings, you can set the maximum volume. So I only put it halfway because uh, this one's for my son. And let's get some more what's inside here. USB charger. Earphones. So my son just turned 10 and this earphones it's quite massive for him for his ear i mean it's like an adult size and the pads that came with it it's difficult to put so i didn't use it uh what else the sound quality of the earphones plus this one is really good such a shame he couldn't use this Good thing I got my old Philips um, earphones. So he's now using this one and it matches the color. It's black. This is black. Charging cable is black. So uh, yeah, I don't know for some reason this is white. So I'm the one using this now. All right, that's out of the way. You've got the manual just in case you wanted to learn more about that. It's there. And since we got this, we haven't charged it yet. It's got a very long life battery. Um, and then this one comes with a um, 16 gig built-in memory. This is your power button. That's your TF card. Your charging is here. That's the one. It's set down here. And then your volume control on this side. Okay, um, it's a plug and play. So when I put this one, um, there we go, and plug it to my laptop. There we go, charge and transfer. But on the computer, if you want to open the files, just open your explorer, your file explorer, and then it should be this USB drive. There you go. Then I got music here, and I just put songs already. Okay. or eject USB okay guys going back uh, so you got that that's your folder the songs will be here already let's just go to uh, it's difficult for you to see isn't it the third one there is music that's the one then middle bit and then that's the individual folder for the music right go if you want to press back this one return return and then the other bit that one is your pictures so what we got are the album art there we are um, so those are the album art 
for the music that we just put right this can also uh, play an mp4 so if you got videos you can and there's like that sign for the book so if you got an ebook or pdf files i suppose you can open and it's got radio station as well this one here and it's capable of recording i haven't tested the recording um, so when we press it it's go, it goes there uh, you got first bit is start voice recording second bit is recordings library the third is rec record format let's open that one you got options between mp3 recorder wav or wave file and act so the default was wave or wav we can put it on mp3 i think that will be easier or yeah it's on mp3 now there it is mp3 uh, format and the last bit is record settings let's check okay it's about the bit rate um, it's between 32 kbps to 192 kbps i think the ideal would be 128 but maybe because of the memory that's why it's on 32 um set recording screen uh, so there's a normal screen train ah normal scene train scene meeting scene long range and the last bit is disable noise cancelling a uh, cancellation so that's really great and then the train scene would be while you're in the train trying to record and then you're in a meeting so that will be multi-directional recording and long range perhaps if you're in a concert and you want to record so yeah i don't know exactly i'm just guessing with all of these features I haven't tried it yet as well so that's handy and let's go to the settings the one that i was trying to show you you got the play mode sound settings let's open that one so you got equalizer which is important and the volume limit that's the one that i was telling you earlier so it's on 15 so it's like halfway i think or if this is, maximum is 32 maybe let's see the maximum volume 31 is the maximum okay so let's just go back to perhaps let's put it on 17 okay so we got the then the sleep timer idle shutdown or idle shutdown button lights and the last bit is sp speaker switch what is it's on okay display settings it's about brightness uh, backlight screensaver and update playlist it doesn't say that it's got Bluetooth, so it's not Bluetooth com compatible. Uh, what else? Yeah, at the back it says there are 16 gig. I already put loads of songs, but it only uh, used up about 1 gig or 2 gigs of memory. So 16 gig is plenty uh, without the... Uh, um expandable tf card 
you can already use this with this 16 gig because you don't have any applications and like on the phone you will be using some of the applications which use up your memory um, but this one is just music built-in um, radio and then pictures and videos that if you want um, and you can record so that's it guys um, thanks for watching and um, hope my review of the super i mp3 player helps you to decide if you want to buy this one uh, this is not a sponsored video uh, we bought this but i'd like to share it to you guys see you later bye